I'm Scott Isler. This is my wife, Tracy. We are from Marion County, and we are competing in the Excellence in Ag. Uh, our ag business consists of a uh, family farm. We have uh, 600 sows and 2,500 crops, um, grain, grain crops, uh, corn, soybeans, and wheat. Uh, I'm a second grade teacher, and so I work full time. Don't work full time for the farm anymore, but um, I'm continuously helping. I am I'm in charge of the hogs. Uh, I oversee all the employees in, in the hog operation, and uh, I also help out. After my day's done there, I help with the crops. One of the most satisfying things that we're just now, the point we're just now getting to is we have a three-year-old daughter, and she showed for her first time on a national show. And she didn't place well at all, but to instill that love of agriculture in her in a positive way at three years old. By, by winning this award, um, not just the judges, but um, it, it, it shows and proves to us um, that we've worked hard and, and other people see the value of that. Hello, I'm Matt Reese. I'm Kristen Reese. And we are contestants in the Excellence in Ag Contest. Well, we both have farm backgrounds, and we're fortunate in that, that our parents saw the need for us to grow up with an agricultural background. And I have gone on to start a career in agriculture, and I write for Ohio's Country Journal. I have a little more unique role in agriculture. I serve as a real estate agent for AGR Real Living, so I get to help farmers preserve um, our farm ground and working with farmers in the buying and selling of farm ground as farmland as well as homes. We grow um, and locally direct some products off of our farm, and so it's really exciting when we sell market chickens to people and market lamb to people that they can say, you know, we went to our friend's house and we purchased this, and we're going to feed our family the food that our friend grew locally. So I think that's really, really, really satisfying that we can provide them with a safe local product. It's also satisfying to raise our children with a background in agriculture and raise educated consumers so that they hopefully won't have the same issues we're seeing in a lot of our society when they grow up. They have an agricultural background to fall back on. I think the award um, itself is very prestigious and exciting, but I think it really helps us reflect on what we've done in agriculture. Well, I think it would just be a really nice honor and recognition uh, because there's certainly a lot of great competition uh, this year and in, uh, in every year from the great leaders in agriculture around the state. And it's a very exclusive group, and it would be great to be a, a part of that exclusive group that have, have been recognized for their efforts in agriculture. I'm Andy Vance. And I'm Lindsay Hill of ABN Radio. We're contestants from the Ohio Farm Bureau Federation's Excellence in Agriculture Competition. We started a farm radio network back in November of 2005. Uh, my first exposure to farm radio had been working for Ed Johnson, who was a legendary farm broadcaster here in Ohio. Andy also came to work for ABN Radio, which was Ed's company. That's how Andy and I actually met. You know, for us, we may have a day where uh, we are out in the field uh, with a farmer who's trying to finish shelling corn and we're doing a midday broadcast right from the cab of his combine. You know, the next day we might be uh, at, a, at a convention out of state somewhere covering one of the major organizations from American Farm Bureau Federation on through to all the various commodity groups. So you might be in a suit and tie one day interviewing uh, your, your senator or congressman about farm policy and the next day you're out in the cab of the combine trying to, to uh, tell the story of producers you know, getting in the crop. I think to be recognized by a group uh, like Ohio Farm Bureau and the members it represents uh, would just be mind-boggling for us because um, we, we're we're the same people at home on the farm as, as all of the members. Uh, Lindsay and I live on a small family farm. Um, I, I own and operate a small cow herd and um, we feel like we get up and, and put our boots on every day and go to work for, for the farmers that, um, that we represent. My name is Chip Yoakum. This is my wife Shannon. We are from Highland County, Ohio and we are contestants in the Excellence in Ag contest. We do have a small operation. We raise a small herd of show cattle down in southern Ohio. Um, we are involved in a production sale every uh, the last week, end of every August. I personally am a licensed auctioneer in the state of Ohio. We are governed by the Department of Agriculture. I am a teacher. I teach grades two through eight in reading. As Chip said, we raise show cattle. We also um, do some custom hay baling this year. 
Working or being affiliated with the agricultural industry uh, has always been a big impact in my life. Uh, being raised on a small farm uh, by two parents that also had off the farm jobs. Farm Bureau, they were very involved. They were very involved in membership. Chips chaired membership some. I sit on our county board and the county vice president. I think one of the best things is the people in agriculture. Um, you meet so many people in so many walks of life. It would be a proud moment too to represent Ohio at the American Farm Bureau. I mean, that's, that's an elite group of people to represent and really to take what we do in excellence in agriculture to a national level and say, yes, we're not full-time farmers, but this is how we are making an impact. Um, that's, that's a huge honor and a huge responsibility.